Hello, my name is Jasmine Ganyan, and I'm from Southwestern Oklahoma State University. I'm in Principles of Biology 2 lab. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about how prey mantises are the most advanced hunters. The scientific name for a prey mantis is a mantota. Mantota and other mantises fall underneath the phylum Arthropoda. The characteristics that mantotas have to determine their phylum is their outer cuticle, which is known as the exoskeleton their bilateral symmetry, their segmented body and appendages, their ventral nervous system, and their sensory organs. The prey mantis, who are members of the phylum Arthropoda, as mentioned in the previous slide, have the most advanced adaptations for catching prey. Their adaptations include their head position, their color, sensory, and their long legs that have special characteristics. Because of how their triangular head is positioned on its neck allows the insect to turn its head at 180 degrees, which means they can look backwards at what is behind them. This adaptation is used to scan for prey and even predators in the environment around them. The prey mantis have diverse color of camouflage depending on the habitat around them. Prey mantises can be green for ones that live in leaves and twigs. There's brown or gray for bark and rocks, and some are even more vibrant for flowers, and they're more of a pink and purple color. The camouflage makes them able to sneak upon and hunt prey while also kept hidden from predators. A few sensory organs that play a part in capturing food are eyesight and reflexes. Prey mantises have two large eyes composed of smaller ones, which gives the mantis good vision and to focus so it is able to use its two front legs to capture prey with its lightning fast reflexes. The reflexes that the mantota has is so fast it is hard to see with the naked eye. In addition to fast reflexes, the leg is used to catch food. The prey mantis also has spiny raptorical legs. The two raptorical legs are used to pin and stabilize the prey in place to be able to keep it still enough to eat it. And these are all the spiky raptorical features. I believe the prey mantis has the most advanced adaptations for capturing their meal because of the following features, the head position, the camouflage, exoskeleton, their sensory organs, and their spiky legs. These adaptations let the small insect capture prey that can potentially be a lot bigger than them. I, rem I recommend watching the Nature's Perfect Predators Praying Mantis. It gives excellent insights about more about each adaptation and it goes either, even further and to help visualize everything. I will also um, link this in the comments so it's easy for you guys to get to. I will also be open for any questions or comments, and you can comment those below in the discussion board. And thank you for watching.